It is now 4385 according to the development calendar. This time is called the era of technological development. A crowd of people walk, talking, whispering. One guy recommends a girl to try teleporting just once to get to the sacred jade land, which is located near the center of their city. People use the received powers for a comfortable life. They are easily teleported just by saying the name of the place. At the moment, two men are teleporting and it seems as if they are evaporating into thin air. People nearby look at them with surprised faces. Everything was calm, as always. Until, one day, the demon king appeared a toad devouring the heavens. All the people started running. They asked to be saved. Some called the toad a monster. Fortunately, the military forces were already here. One of them loudly announced the arrival of the Divine Skills Squad. The man from this detachment immediately gave the order to protect the citizens. Among them, too, there were people who were amazed at the size of the toad. They assumed that it is a demon of the fifth rank. There were still people nearby, there was even a boy among them. The guy from the Divine Skills Squad patted the boy on the head. Then he warned me that it was very dangerous here and told me to go home. He himself went to the other comrades. The guy accumulated strength in his hand and attacked the toad with a fireball. Toad screamed from the blow to the face. According to the guy, it's too easy. Everyone was surprised by trainee Zhuoyi's attack. Zhuoyi flew in on his sword and standing right in front of the huge toad's eyes. He shouted loudly, calling her a stinking toad. Then he told her to die. This made the toad very angry. Both began to accumulate strength. The toad shot out of its mouth. From this blow, Zhuoyi was covered in scratches and his right arm was broken. But he was disappointed that this was all he was capable of. The demon was surprised and furious that this man did not know his traitor. When the toad was about to shoot at Zhuo and his companion again, they protected him with a protective barrier. The girl told him not to put pressure on himself, since he was just an intern. And the man next to him said they needed to attack the toad together. So, everyone went on the attack. But the toad is sure that it will not harm him. The toad jumped up. All the attackers turned pale with surprise. And the toad shot at them again. The wreckage of the destroyed buildings lay all over the neighborhood. Many members of the Divine Skill Squad were injured. There were people lying on the ground who had lost consciousness. At this time, Toad was heading to the evacuation center. Zhuoyi noticed this and ran after her to stop her. If the Toad is not stopped, many people may suffer. Zhuo understood that, too. On the way, he met that boy. The guy did not understand why the boy still did not go to the evacuation zone and why he did not listen to him. He even thought that he had mental problems. Then he called out to the boy, telling him to run faster from there. But before he finished his speech, the boy flew into the air at breakneck speed. The toad noticed that something was flying in his direction. However, he did not have time to react, because a strong blow had already hit her stomach. She was shocked that the great demon king himself flew up from the little boy's punch. Zhuoyi, who saw all this, did not understand what was happening. His eyes widened in surprise. The demon was scared and thought that other people could also be strong. The boy looked at her menacingly and asked why she didn't run away. The toad shuddered. She thought attacking Earth was a bad idea. Then she ran away. Now the boy came up to Zhuoyi. After all, he had seen him. Continuing to look at him with menacing eyes, he asked him to pretend as if he had not seen anything, also calling him Big Brother. In response, the pale Zhuoyi started nodding his head and said that he had not seen anything. In addition, he called him a great hero. At that moment, the people from his squad recalled Zhuoyi. They decided that he was the one who defeated the Demon King, and they confidently asked him if that last blow belonged to him. Everyone was shocked by the intern's action. Zhuo didn't even know how to answer. They picked him up and shouted with happiness. They called the guy the winner of the Demon King. That's how the Demon King was defeated by Zhuoyi. A large statue made of gold was built in his honor. Ten years later. High school number 60. Opening day. They say even a third year student at this school couldn't use a flying sword to get to school. According to rumors, this year the lowest score in spiritual power, 5 points. People who were aware of these rumors were glad to hear the words. They decided that in this case they have a chance of entering the school. Behind the guys discussing these rumors was Wang Lai, who was the one who passed the exam by only 5 points. In his hand he held a paper of a registration ticket with a seal. Suddenly, he took a deep breath and continued walking to school, looking at this paper with a dissatisfied face. He didn't even notice the guy standing in front of him. As a result, I crashed into one of them. Naturally, this angered the guy. He assumed a malicious expression and demanded to give him a spiritual talisman and a divine pill, just like the other guys. And Wang Lai looked at him in silence. None of those present liked this sight. One guy wanted to interfere, but his friend stopped him. So they still decided to observe the continuation of the current situation. The guy that Wang Lin bumped into told him in a loud voice to be a good boy and give all his things. Wang Lin calmly warned him to be careful. The guy didn't understand his words. And suddenly he was struck by lightning. Wang Lin jumped back. He cast his gaze at the girl standing on the roof of the school. The girl loudly said that having a high score in spiritual strength is not a reason to make fun of the new ones. Wang Lin, on the other hand, didn't even know who she was. I only thought that she had climbed high. But many people knew her. The guys nearby called her the Great Lady Song Rong from Hyogyu Corporation. 
According to the students, she is the most brilliant girl among the cultivators. Such are born in a hundred years. In elementary school, her spiritual strength scores reached three digits. It is said that her scores on the entrance exam reached a four-digit number. Others wondered why she came to their school, and some were amazed by her beauty. Song Rong jumped off the roof, her hair was flying with the wind and also because of gravity, but her skirt was not. She landed in front of that guy who threatened Wang Ling. After that, he and his friends ran away, saying that they would come back. Although Song Rong had saved Wang Ling, he believed that she had done the same thing as them, using high spiritual power. The girl turned to the guy, grabbed her long loose hair and threw it back. Song Rong drew a wide smile on her face and said that everything was fine now, no matter what happened, she would always protect them. All the students standing there rejoiced. They started calling her a goddess. Song Rong, still smiling broadly, pulled Wang Lin's hand, thinking the guy would be damn glad to hold the hand of a goddess like her. But he just walked by, looking ahead, and her outstretched hand remained outstretched. The girl was very surprised by such an act. She thought he deliberately pretended not to notice her. The surrounding people, as if defending the girl's name, said that the guy has only five points of spiritual strength and he is not worthy to shake her hand. They also thought that Wang Lai did not dare to accept her help. In addition, in his heart he is shocked and glad that she spoke to him. According to them, they would have done the same in his place. Song Rong just thought the newcomer was very excited to react somehow. She denied the opinion of others by saying no. The girl, smiling even brighter, said that it didn't matter to her whether their spiritual power was high or low. They are all the same to her. At this moment, Wang Lin was headlong. He just didn't want to establish a relationship with a celebrity. It will cause even more trouble for him. And he only thought about leaving this place as soon as possible. Around the corner, some suspicious guy was watching him. Then he grinned slyly. A huge hologram of Zhuo Yi appeared in front of the school. He greeted the students and congratulated them on passing the entrance exam. He also told them about a small exam that will take place now. The results of the exam will affect their distribution by class. The high school students already knew about it. After all, this is the ceremony of determining the classes of new students every year before entering the school. Zhuo Yi congratulated the students on behalf of the Divine Skills Squad. He winked his right eye and, smiling slightly, wished them luck. The girls were delighted by the beauty of Master Zhuo Yi. They shouted with delight. Their eyes just sparkled like lovers. Others did not understand why to conduct this exam. They seemed to think that scores determined their class. A man's voice came from the big screen. He understood the thoughts of the disgruntled students. The man explained why this exam is being held. So this is because in addition to the division by class, this is done in order to prevent the bribery of judges by some people. In this trial, it is strictly forbidden to use spiritual pills to improve your results. Those who really wanted to bribe the judges, it shocked more than the rest. The students said in a loud voice that it could be a person who scored five points. Everyone laughed about it. Of course, Wang Lin did not like the mockery of him. According to the man, this time those who scored the highest points will be enrolled in the class of the chosen ones. The rest are in a regular class, and the lack of a sufficient amount of spiritual power score or cheating will permanently deprive them of their student status. Some students were annoyed by this. Song Rong wanted to show her spiritual strength. Others also wanted to do their best. Wang Lin just wanted to sleep. When he yawned, tears accumulated in his eyes and flowed slightly from the corners of his eyes. Others thought he was crying. They took him for a crook and began to laugh even more. It turned out that the judges of this exam will not be a man. When he said that he would not be the judge, a green toad appeared on the big screen. All the students were surprised. From the expression on their faces, it seems they didn't know the story about this toad. Then Song Rong suddenly spoke up. It turned out that she had seen it in the Book of Cultivators. Song Rong said that this is the demon king who attacked Earth ten years ago, a toad devouring the heavens. The students started praising her again. They were amazed that she knew a lot. Song Rong turned to look at them. Smiling sweetly, she asked them not to overwhelm her with compliments. She just loves to read. But even so, the students continued to praise the beautiful goddess Song Rong. Among them, she noticed Wang Ling. And only he didn't pay attention to her. He continued to yawn as before. Suddenly, a man's loud voice was heard. He told everyone to keep quiet. And only then did all eyes turn back to the big screen. The man told a story ten years ago. The story that this toad was defeated by Zhuo Yi and then sealed it in a spirit talisman. According to him, her power is limited, and now she will not be able to harm anyone. The higher the rank of the Demon King, the more accurately he determines the attack power. The man took a deep breath, clenched his fist and beat at the sealed toad. He scored 71 20 points. After that, he said to just hit harder to be in the class of the Chosen Ones. The data shown is their estimate. Everyone was excited. The men were delighted with the result. Song Rong assumed a cute expression and said that punching a toad was unpleasant. She thinks she's green and coot. But the others called Sun Rong cute. They were amazed by the goddess's kindness. Wang Ling did not think the toad was cute and therefore did not agree with her words. His face spoke for itself. The man knew that even after imprinting, the demon's spiritual power was still equal to a five-digit number. If the student has a weak spiritual force, then he will fly away, hitting the demon king. Now it's the student's turn. The screen showed the number of the first student. Everyone is looking forward to it. 
a guy with glasses named Kuk Shuen introduced himself and boldly strode forward. He was confident in himself. First of all, he thought about his five years of hard training. According to him, he trained every day and every night. Although he doesn't look trained himself, there was a bird sitting on his head. He wants to show his strength. In his opinion, this test cannot be too difficult. Therefore, he wants to get into the class of the chosen. He clenched his fist, gathered his strength and made a blow with full force. The bird took off, and the guy himself flew back. The man announced the results of the guy. He scored 404 points and got into a regular class. Only now did the students realize that if the spiritual power is not high, then they will fly away. They were surprised that the number of the first student was sent to a regular class even with 404 points. Then it's number two's turn. This is the guy who wanted to cheat. He struck, using all his strength to do so. The man announced the results of the guy. He scored 75 points and was disqualified. So his dream of cultivation was destroyed. The high school students who were watching all this were showing off, calling the guy garbage. It seems there were several geniuses with 700 points in their time. The number 3 student was also disqualified, scoring 124 points. Sun Rong clenched her fists resolutely. She thinks it won't be difficult for her to get into the chosen class. And even now she is in the spotlight. Wang Ling also looked at her like everyone else. Yes, only he thinks of her as a younger sister. Then came the turn of number 4. 15 minutes have passed. There were a lot of disqualified students. The man did not expect that there would be so many people with weak spiritual strength among the new students. He decided that the problem could be with the equipment and went to check. With the help of the talisman of heaven and earth, the filling of spiritual power appeared right in front of the toad. I communicated with her informally. He told her to stop. If she continues in the same spirit, then they will not reach the goal of recruiting new students this year. He also asked me to take it easy with them. He apparently wanted to negotiate. If the toad does as he asked, he will receive four packs of excellent noodles. The demon king wasn't happy that the man wanted to bribe him with food. He took him for a stupid old man. He initially had no intention of voluntarily letting himself be beaten. He was just slowly drawing out the spiritual power from these students. There is still a little bit left, and he will be released from the seal. The man returned to his seat. After that, I continued to determine the student's scores. Another student at number 65 went to a regular class, scoring 536 points. It was number 66's turn. He's just full of energy and looks strong. Even the Demon King appreciated it. The guy clenched his fist, jumped off, and hit with all his might. He scored 998 points and got into the class of favorites. Everyone was amazed at his result. Now it's his friend's turn. He told the guy to just wait for him in the favorites class. He scored 867 points and also got into the class of favorites. The recoil was quite strong. He was second in the chosen class. So, many students passed the exam. The next number is 138 Sun Rong. She was excited and was going to give it her all. The atmosphere immediately became lively. To Wang Ling, the noise on her side seemed tiresome. Sun Rong still thought the toad was cute and apologized before the blow. She, like everyone else, wants to get into the elite class. But she also wants to become the new hope of the school and exist as a goddess. Her priority was to protect weak classmates, destroy all evil, kill everyone who stands in her way, make her name in history and destroy all inequalities. Then start a new chapter in your life to become an ideal for everyone. She is confident that she will be able to make it a reality. Her blue eyes were full of confidence. Wang Lin, on the other hand, thought she was overplaying. The Demon King seemed to understand that she had high spiritual power. He was happily waiting for her attack. Sun Rong concentrated. She gathered her strength into a fist to strike at full force, jumped down and hit the toad. After the blow, she immediately realized the fact that the stronger her attack, the stronger the recoil. Her strike wasn't enough to free the Demon King. There is still a little more and he will break through the seal. Sun Rong scored 2233 points. However, for her it is less than she expected. But even so, she's the best right now. The man was happy to announce its results. She got into the class of the chosen ones. As always, she began to be inundated with compliments again. The fact that she received a four-digit number excited them more and more. After all, she's still a high school freshman. Even high school students who underestimated the newcomers recognized her. They even blushed. Sun Rong was the first one who didn't fall while attacking the sky-swallowing toad. She not only broke the record, but also doubled it. Behind the crowd, Wang Ling was standing serenely leaning on a tree. Only he wasn't interested in it. Sun Rong doesn't like that he doesn't pay attention to her when all eyes are on her. She decided to remember his face. This made Wang Lai feel a chill on his back. But he didn't know what it was from. It was the turn of number 139 Wang Lin. He didn't want to get into the elite class, on the contrary, he wants to go to an ordinary class. The guy thinks to score only 400 points for this. Everyone around started to have an active conversation about the guy. They said that with his 5 points, it was better to give up. Wang Ling didn't pay attention to them. He remained calm. The toad was waiting for its hero. She needs him to hit her with all his strength. After all, after absorbing his spiritual power, she will become free. As soon as Wang Ling began to accumulate strength in his fist, Toad felt a strange feeling. The guy's scarlet eyes seemed to burn with fire. 
He jumped off, and when he was heading for the toad with his fist, everyone was surprised. The boy flew on his wooden sword to buy instant noodles. Today, he will finally be able to buy a limited version of instant noodles. But in the end, the demon king toad devouring the heavens has ruined his plans. But the boy had been waiting for this for 268 days. Although he managed to buy noodles, but he hurt him. So the packaging of the noodles broke, and the noodles themselves lay scattered on the ground. This made him very angry. He demanded to return it. The toad was confused when she saw the guy. It seemed to both of them that this situation had already happened. Initially, the toad wanted to absorb spiritual power. But now, if he absorbed all the spiritual power, he would die first. In that case, she decided to pretend to be dead. Wang Ling's punch didn't even hit the target, and she's already dead. No one understood what was happening. Everyone said it was impossible. The toad just lay there, pretending to be dead. The man approached Wang Lin. He confirmed his identity. The other students still didn't understand anything. But they knew one thing for sure. Wang Lin didn't hit the toad. Some thought that Song Rong had killed the toad earlier. The number 99,999,999 seemed unreal to them. The man in turn examined the demon. He called the director to report the incident. In his opinion, the toad was too old. So he died. But Wang Ling knew that the demon was just pretending to be dead. After all, his soul was still there. His soul just runs away. After clicking the guy, the man approached him again. He told him that there were not enough people in the chosen class. And the measuring device is broken. Therefore, Wang Lin will now study in the class of the chosen ones. The guy had no choice. Therefore, he politely agreed. But, according to the man with glasses, the class of the other students will be determined by the previous spiritual force scores. But they all started protesting this. In their opinion, this is too unfair. They thought that the guy and the man with glasses had the same surname Wang. It seemed like a scam to them. There was a commotion. So the first fun day at school is over. In the class of favorites, teacher Pan Shen Tong became the class teacher. She greeted the students and introduced herself. The teacher was quite tall, slender, black hair was gathered in a bun. The students will have their first class in the draft class today. The teacher explained how to do it. To summon a spirit, you must use a talisman or cast a spell. So they will be able to summon the spirit that is nearby. She herself summoned the spirit of the whale with the help of a talisman. The students were amazed by this sight. According to the teacher, they can summon a strong or weak spirit. It all depends on their spiritual strength. To begin with, she wants to teach them basic summoning skills. So they can summon their first spirit. She wrote the basic principles of summoning the spirit on the blackboard. Now, following these principles, they can start trying. The guy who scored 998 points wanted to test himself first. In his left hand he held a talisman, and his right hand was held up like a pistol. The guy concentrated. He called the spirit, mentally read the basic principles of the call. It seems he wants to summon the spirit of the divine dragon. But Sakura's magic staff appeared in front of him. This made the others laugh, but the guy himself was confused. From each summoning of the spirit, different things appeared. Someone called for a glass, someone for a girl's panties, others for a slipper and a toy. The homeroom teacher explained why this is happening. She says that because their spiritual power is only three digits, they will not be able to summon living beings. At least not yet, so they just have to take their time. But, it seems, after all, one managed to summon a living being. Sun Rong successfully summoned a spirit beast and immediately found herself in the spotlight. Her classmates were surprised by the girl's talent. The skeleton of a dog appeared in the air. Her limbs and ears were burning with blue flames, and on the tail was tied a cute pink butterfly. Someone said it looked more like a stray dog than a spiritual beast. Sun Rong explained that she couldn't summon such a powerful being. But even so, the girl started playing with the skeleton of the dog. The teacher noticed that Wang Lin had not yet started the call. She offered her help if he didn't understand something, she would explain everything. So Wang Lin began to call. In my head I retold the following words. The spirits next to me hear my call. Banish the darkness from this world. I'm donating my blood. Divine Dragon, come, answer my call. Everyone waited, holding their breath. What will appear from his call? The toad's soul was flying outside. She calmly flew forward, rejoicing that she was able to survive. A circle appeared in front of her, like a seal. The toad didn't understand what kind of thing it was. He tightened it, and suddenly she was in front of Wang Ling. No one expected such an outcome. That's why everyone was surprised. They immediately realized that it was a toad devouring the heavens. But they didn't understand why she was here. After all, she was dead. As expected, the homeroom teacher immediately warned the students to be careful. And Wang Ling grabbed the toad without any hesitation and looked at him with a threatening look. The toad asked the young hero to spare her. When the teacher only warned Wang Lin to be careful, he threw the toad into the mouth of the skeleton dog. Surprisingly, it turned out to be delicious. This was their chance, realizing that the teacher sealed the skeleton of a dog with a toad in its mouth. When she freed them again, a green dog appeared. Glances pierced the dog's back. It gave him goosebumps. He was even scared when the hands reached out to him. But the atmosphere abruptly became pleasant. For girls, he seemed cute because they were pawing the dog. They were discussing his skin color. They also wanted to keep him as a class mascot. In honor of this, they decided to give him a name. One of them suggested calling him Luppy. 
but this angered the dog, so he said in a loud voice not to call him by such a strange name. After all, he is the demon king after all. But looking at the formidable Wang Lin, I immediately thought that first he needed to save his life. Well, that's it, the lesson on the summoning of the spirit is over. After announcing this, the teacher left the classroom. She seems to be interested in Wang Ling. Adjusting her glasses, she grinned slightly. Being a dog turned out to be exhausting and hot for a toad. He thought he was much better when he was a toad. Not only the toad was tired. For Wang Lin, today was also tiring. The first day of school wasn't quite as smooth as he wanted it to be. There are people who are born with a golden core. The rest are fighting for it. A baby is sitting, who is only a year old. At this age, he reads a book with a serious face. Baby Lin Lin's birthday is today. His parents brought gifts for him. They bought a golden sword, which my father spent half a year's salary on. The Dragon Slayer Sword. He represents the father's faith in his son. To this day, in their kind of wang, not a single person has been able to get a golden core, so they have high hopes for their son in the future. But it seems that the baby did not like the gift. He immediately broke the sword in half. The father's heart is torn to pieces. On average, he can go to a higher level every two years, surpassing the maturity of ordinary people. When the kid was three years old, he had already learned to fly on a wooden sword. Although the sword was a toy, his parents were very shocked by this. And at the age of seven, he was already able to manage things nearby. His parents' reaction to this made it clear to him that he should not stand out. The parents realized that their child was not like normal children. So that Wang Ling would not stand out, they used talismans. His father glued them on his neck. However, his entrance scores ruined his plans. A vote was held to determine the head of the class. According to the results of the vote, Sun Rong became the head of the class. She thanked everyone for their support and for such a chance. Sun Rong promised to make the chosen class the best of the best. After these words, the whole class looked at her with loving eyes, calling her a goddess. Except for Wang Lin. He looked at the window and thought of going home to eat dry noodles as soon as possible. Around the corner, some suspicious guy was watching their class again. He was on the phone telling his young master that he had found a target. At Wang Lin's house, during a family dinner, the father reminded his son not to stand out. He asked why he had joined the chosen class. Wang Ling curled his eyebrows and broke one pair of iron sticks that he was holding in his hand. They were quite expensive. My father began to cry. His poor salary. The mother inclined it to an accident. She said not to blame her son for this. He has a weekend tomorrow, he has to rest in the house. An advertisement for a new set of pills to maintain youth from the Sun Company was shown on TV. It is great for women. Wang Lin's mom immediately set her eyes on him and wanted to buy. And her husband refused her, saying that they could not afford such a thing. Sun Company after Waterfall Company can be said to be the richest in the country, their products are of high quality. Wang Lin went to his room. The mother asked her son if he would eat more and promised him that she would tell her father to buy new pairs of iron sticks. He silently showed a bag of dry noodles and began to eat it piece by piece. The guy is very tired today. He can only hope that tomorrow will be calm. So, right now he's just enjoying the delicious noodles. At this moment, one girl is sitting in a dark room. She's plotting to do something to Wang Ling. She has a tablet in her hand, in which there is data about him. 8 o'clock in the morning. The alarm clock is ringing. Wang Ling slowly opened his eyes. His mother and father stood joyfully in front of him. They look pretty happy. The father praised his son, saying that he was a real male. His mother tells him to hurry to take a shower, change clothes, have breakfast, otherwise he will be late for a date. Wang Ling didn't understand what was going on and what kind of date. And when he asked them about it, his mother pointed out the window with her index finger. Wang Ling looked out the window and saw Sun Rong standing in front of his house. She is wearing a cute white dress with a collar. Her long black hair is loose. A pink flower-shaped hairpin is attached to the bangs. She always attaches it. Wang Ling didn't understand how she found out his address and looked gloomy. And his mother, on the contrary, radiated a bright color. She's glowing with happiness. She hurries her son to get ready. It turns out that the reason for her happiness is that Sun Rong gave her high-quality pills to maintain youth. The guy decided that she had been bribed. When he asked her about it, her expression immediately changed. She told her son in a threatening voice that if he didn't hurry up, he would never eat crispy noodles again. So Wang Lin went after all. He and Sun Jun got into her car together. She didn't expect him to accept her offer. But he did not expect this himself. He wanted to shoot himself better, even though he can't die. Sun Rong and Wang Ling arrived at the Zeho family estate. A personal driver brought them right to the gate. The girl is in a good mood today. She showed Wang Lin the Super VIP card and said they were having a great time today. After seeing the card, he finally realized that she was really the golden lady of an international company. The Zio family estate is the largest amusement park in China. Originally, it was the estate of the ancestor of the Zio family, which had a thousand-year history. The Zio family estate was not only a sacred land, but also had many tourist spots. They spent time together in such a big park. We rode a roller coaster. We took photos. But on them, Wang Ling did not look happy, but rather dissatisfied. Although Wang Lin has long wanted to arrive there, but the ticket price is very high. So, he preferred to use the money to buy dry noodles. But today, thanks to Sun Rong with her VIP card, he will be able to visit and have fun in this famous sacred park. 
The sun has long since set below the horizon. The evening has come. The park is still busy. Wang Ling and Sun Rong are sitting on a bench under a lamp. They drink coffee. Both are silent. Because of this, they felt awkward. Therefore, the girl spoke first. According to her, the biggest fireworks display in China is coming soon. But to this Wang Lin said just said aha. Sun Rong planned to have a great date, but the guy has no reaction at all. It annoyed her. Finally, the long-awaited fireworks began. It was very beautiful. As they watched this, Wang Ling noticed that someone was following them. But when he just turned around, the gun was already pointed at his back. There were two of them. They are dressed entirely in black. One man is wearing a black mask and the other is wearing a black hood. Sun Rong was not at a loss. She asked who they were. In response, they said they would not harm her and her boyfriend. The robbers hope that they will not resist and will obediently follow them. Sun Rong thought for a bit. She explained to them that Wang Lin was her classmate, not her boyfriend. If the robbers let him go, she would go with them. They agreed to do as she said, but with a condition. According to the condition, Wang Lin must take a sleeping pill so as not to disclose the information. He silently picked it up. Sun Rong calmed down. For her, the most important thing is Wang Lin's safety. That's all she needs right now. Suddenly, Wang Lin pressed on the sleeping pill and it burst. His action angered the robbers. But before they could do anything, he broke their gun and was behind them. The guy grabbed them by the shoulder. They were all shocked by Wang Ling's action. Then he took off. The robbers shouted, not understanding where he got such spiritual power from. He sent them to heaven. Buddha's fire lotus. The robbers screamed in fright. Already tears flowed. And Sun Rong looked at Wang Ling in surprise. He would have to erase her memory. That's how the date ended with a small incident. But, something big will happen behind it. School day. Wang Lin came to school, for some reason everyone is talking about him. The school is too busy. Even though everyone was talking about him, he ignored them, looking out the window. According to rumors, Wang Ling and Sun Rong went on a date and met two bad guys, and then were saved by the Great Master. And according to another version, they watched fireworks together with the Great Master. Others also say that these bad guys were sent to the sky by a Great Master with the help of a cannon. Some even thought that Wang Lin had a Great Master friend. Others say they went on a date after watching the fireworks. Human rumors are scary. Now Wang Lin will need to be more inconspicuous. An active conversation was stopped by a teacher with glasses. But the students called it an old antique. They like his history lessons. They are looking forward to his lesson today. VP, the teacher was called old antiques because he knew a lot of gossip about the history of cultivation, which was very different from the serious content written in textbooks. All the students were interested in learning gossip. Compared to the monotony of history textbooks, students liked to listen to historical gossip, which no one knew. Therefore, as time passed, the old antique also received another nickname, the immortal gossip teacher. The teacher understood the real intentions of the students. And this time, even though they say they are waiting for history lessons, but, in fact, they want to gossip. He told the students that he didn't even have time to have breakfast to come to their class. In that case, they know what to do. Everyone began to give the teacher their food. Some are what they haven't finished, others are what they haven't opened yet. The teacher gathered everyone. So, the lesson began. Apparently he is also aware of what happened to his two students. The disciples confirmed his words, and that it was Sun Rong and Wang Ling. When it came to that, the girl blushed. The guy's face became gloomy. According to the teacher, the organization Shadow Stream has a lot of famous masters around the world. However, according to the information received from outside, the headquarters of this organization is located in the country of Huexiu. This information did not satisfy the students' interest. They demand to talk about the most important thing. After that, the teacher continued his speech. According to him, then the administration of a hundred schools organized a team of 100 people to suppress the shadow flow, which, unfortunately, failed. At least the floor of the shadow stream chapter was finally cleared up. This has already interested all the students. This information was found out when the head of the shadows escaped from the apartment in which she was. A group of cultivators found bikini-style panties and a 36D bra there. That's all the teacher stopped at. That's it for today. It seems all the guys were inspired. Everyone's faces turned red. Suddenly, someone called Teacher Wang. He said that Director Chen wanted to see him. Therefore, the teacher should hurry to the principal's office. The director's office. The director is sitting in his chair. He's very focused. There is a telegram on the table. The authorities want them to release the student Sun Rong and also to send a statement of protection to the main department of the administration of 100 schools. There is about a month left until the next administration council. There are only 12 districts and 36 high schools in Sunghai City, three schools in each district. At the moment, school no. 60 ranks third in Peiyuan district. This means that they take the first place from the end. If they accept the offer of their superiors, it's like admitting their incompetence. Therefore, the headmaster decided to keep Sun Rong at school. They are going to use all means to protect her. He ordered the teacher to be brought to the office. Thus, he wants to provide one-on-one -on -one protection. All students were warned to stay in their classrooms. It was forbidden to go out. If they want to go to the toilet, they should warn the teacher to guard them. Student Sun Rong is under special protection, so she will be placed in the teacher's office for isolation. So she has nothing to worry about. 
but she wasn't worried about herself right now. She was worried about Wang Ling's safety. At this time, Wang Lin was sitting on the roof of the school, enjoying the long-awaited peace and tranquility. For himself, he left a clone in the classroom, who was quietly engaged in his lessons. The guy thought that the shadow stream is strong, but school no. 60 is also not easy, so he has nothing to worry about. But none of them noticed just a guy lying on the roof. Apparently they have buttons instead of eyes. The weather is windy. According to one guy from the shadow stream, the big boss is exaggerating too much this time. Because their target this time is an idle high school girl. They don't need to go in a crowd for such a trifle. The captain of the team answered this. The captain was a young guy dressed all in black. The hair was long, bright yellow and with red tips. He had piercings on his left eyebrow and on his ears. Dark makeup. He clarified their words. This time their target is the young lady of the waterfall company. According to them, she is protected by a first-class expert. The two assassins they sent to the Zayo family estate were killed, their bodies were not even found. This news shocked the whole squad. After all, those two assassins were the best masters in the association. Therefore, they should not underestimate this mission. They planned to retreat immediately after destroying the target. As ranked 13th on the list of the 20 best killers in the world, the captain must cope with this mission. This was his last assignment before the promotion. Suddenly, when the captain was thinking, a voice came from above. The guy standing on the roof was talking about today's weather. The captain immediately turned away. He was confused. The captain of the squad did not understand where the guy came from. They didn't even feel his presence, even though he was an ordinary high school student. Wang Ling appeared right after the captain finished his speech. The young guy clasped his hands and asked in confusion how long he had been here. Wang Lin said that with the words it's windy today. The captain did not understand how a high school student could communicate telepathically. He's just itching with anger. That's why he wants to punch the guy to make him suffer. The captain took a fighting stance and released a blue flame. He told Wang Ling that he had better give up. He turns out to have a golden core at a late stage. Therefore, he is sure that an ordinary high school student will not be able to stand against this. This strong pressure of the captain was felt even by other members of the squad, even though they are at a great distance. Their immobility shows how strong he is. But Wang Lin is still standing quietly. He yawns. Then he opened a package of dry noodles and began to eat calmly. This action surprised the captain and exasperated him. He clenched his fist and abruptly jumped out of his seat. He gathered strength in his right fist to end Wang Lin's youth today. The blow landed on his stomach, but the captain himself flew away from this blow. He was coughing up blood. His eyes were reddened, the pupils were thickening. It was hard and painful for him. He thought he was going to die. His organs can't take it anymore. Is it really his fate? There are three young guys with different hair colors, but with dark makeup. These are the three young gentlemen of the Shadow Stream. The eldest young master is Zhu Ying, the second young master is Zhu Feng and the third young master is Zhu Jian. Although they were not born in the same year, month and day, they swore to die at the same time and in the same place. The three always had fun together. When they were drinking again, the captain of the Shadow Stream squad promised to raise the other two when he was promoted after completing the mission. All these memories surfaced before my eyes. At that moment, the members of the squad decided that their captain had coped with the enemy, because his pressure has stopped. Wang Ling stood in front of the captain's body, thinking about the basic laws of physics, because the reason why the killer failed to deal with him was that he has no idea about cultural education. Now we need to get rid of the body. After all, Wang Lin only destroyed the golden core. The body flew out of the school. The guy went there. When he found the body, a black figure appeared behind the tree. She asked the guy his identity. The black figure turned out to be the head of the school's security. He ordered Wang Ling to turn around. It was awkward for the guy to meet him here and now. When he turned around, the head of the guard immediately recognized him. He called him consultant Wang in surprise. His name was Xiao Lai. He still remembers the events that happened three years ago. It turns out that Wang Lin in the sixth grade demonstrated his skills in his special squad, shocking everyone. He recognized his old acquaintance. The guy asked why the captain of the special forces quit and went to work as a security guard in high school. After all, this is a waste of his potential. It turned out that he was gassed on a mission between worlds, but fortunately Wang Lin saved him. And he is surprised that the effect of the poison has not yet passed. The guard told the whole story after the incident. After he woke up in the hospital, he tried to escape to personally thank his savior. But the first time, he didn't even have time to get to the corridor, as the nurse who came to check on him used a shadow-binding spell to drag him back. The second time, he was caught by the old boss of the special squad and almost broke his balls with his bare hands. The third time, he wanted to leave the hospital using his flying sword. But the hospital had a spiritual seal, because of which he was unable to use his spiritual power. So he fell from the 30th floor. Wang Lin was petrified by this story. Gathering himself, he told the head of the guards not to move. And he went up to him. The guy put his left hand on his right shoulder. At the beginning, the man did not understand what was happening. But a little later he felt an indescribable relief. He even blushed. Drool flowed from his mouth. To Wang Ling, this view was disgusting. The head of the guards thanked consultant Wang. 
It seems that he has never felt so amazing in the last few years. Wang Ling silently received his thanks. Then he pointed to the body of the lying killer behind him. The guy even forgot about him. He told the man to help get rid of Zhu Ying's body. Wang Ling could already sense the presence of the other guards. Therefore, if you stay too long, they will see him. The head of the guards agreed without question, and Wang Lin immediately took off. The man remained fascinated by his unattainable strength. For him, this is the level that normal people in this world cannot understand. A minute later, the guards ran. They noticed a body lying behind their shield and asked what it was. The head of the guards said it was the body of Zhu Ying's killer. He also said that he had just killed him. Therefore, I asked for their help to remove the body. The teacher's room. Teacher Wang is watching Sun Rong. She looks worried. Naturally, the teacher noticed this, so he offered to eat some sweets to relax. But Sun Rong politely declined, shaking her head. The teacher seemed to understand that she was worried about Wang Ling. And smiling slightly, he said that the boy was extremely lucky that she was so worried about him. From these words, the girl was embarrassed. Her red cheeks spoke for themselves. He also said if she wanted to get close to him, then she needed to adapt to his taste. But Sun Rong doesn't know what he likes. Then the teacher looked at her with a confident look and held out the crispy noodles to her. The girl was surprised, and suddenly both felt a strange thing. Then, in a matter of seconds, something sharp appeared in front of her. High school no. 60. A green-haired man comes out of the men's room. He is one of the young masters of the Shadow Stream. The killer is dressed in the uniform of a school security guard. He's going to show the nightmare to Sun Rong. With this goal, he walks along the school hallway. On the way, he met with the real guards of the school. They ran to the exit saying that a murderer had got into the school. Therefore, they told each other to be careful. The killer also told them to be careful. Then the guards left with a big smile on their face. The teacher's room. Only a high school student and a teacher were standing. They chatted without any excitement. The killer decided to show them the cruelties of the shadow stream. He jumped down from his seat and threw the dagger in their direction. The dagger flew past the girl. She wasn't the first target. Although she tried to catch the dagger, she failed. He was too fast. At this moment, the teacher was still talking. But he stopped the dagger right in front of his head with just two fingers. The killer was shocked and Sun Rong was no less. The teacher immediately found out about his peak delivery of the Golden Core. He recognized the power of the Shadow Flow Red Ribbon Killer. But the killer still didn't understand how he was able to catch the dagger. Although he attacked suddenly, with the speed of a bullet. In addition, I was surprised by the movement of the teacher's hand. He asked who the man was. But I got nothing in response. The killer couldn't believe that there was an expert like him in the school. He believes that the speed and killing power of a spiritual bullet is ten times higher than a flying knife. Taking a pistol from his back pocket, he pointed it at Sun Rong. He shouted out in a loud voice that whoever the teacher was, she would die anyway. After the words were spoken, he pulled the trigger. He fired more than once. Several bullets flew into the air. At the same second, Teacher Wang stood up in front of Sun Rong and beat off all the bullets. Beating back, he said that there is no fortress in this world that cannot be overcome by martial arts. Except for speed. His movements were smooth, at the same time very fast. The killer was shocked by what he saw. He didn't understand how it was possible. All the bullets were on the ground. The teacher suddenly started talking about the power of the Shadow Stream. According to him, the Shadow Stream has started to fade recently. Their members are becoming more and more careless. For some reason, the voice sounded malicious at the same time, disappointed. After hearing these words and voices, the killer remembered a certain strong man. The teacher's voice and his strength reminded him of a samurai. The killer was sweating from these memories of the strongest samurai. One look from him made me shake. Her eyes filled with tears. Tears began to flow. He reflexively knelt down, begging for his life. He even promised to get the shadow stream people out of their school. Tears dripped onto the floor. But the teacher will not forgive them. It's too late. He told him that this was not a place where they could go in and out whenever they wanted. Moreover, the teacher pointed an ordinary chalk at the killer and threw it right into his heart. Chalk pierced his heart. It made him cough up blood. The eyes were rounded, and the pupils were compacted. The teacher continued his speech. Looking down, he told the killer that he was still a teacher, so that's what he needed to do for his student. Sun Rong standing behind was surprised by her teacher's action. Is this the kind and friendly teacher they meet every day? She hesitantly responded to the teacher then the teacher laughed. With his hands on his chin and a big smile on his face, he boasted that he had kept his promise. In the shock Sun Rong still did not confidently say that it was cool. Then suddenly the teacher remembered something important. He took one talisman from his pocket and put it on the body of the murderers. The body began to burn. Looking at this, the teacher sighed heavily. Sun Rong, thinking that he felt sorry for them, tried to calm him down by saying that they were murderers after all. But the teacher turns out to be upset not because of this. The thing is that the Dao talisman is damn expensive. He will have to ask Director Chen to compensate him for this loss. He also asked Sun Rong to keep everything that happened today a secret. He is, after all, that charming fat man whom they all know. Sun Rong, smiling sweetly, thanked the teacher and nodded her head. She also received a package of sweets from him. Evening came. The moon is shining brightly. At this time, a third young gentleman was sitting under the pancakes. The other two lost contact with him. It seemed strange to him. 
He already thought they had been caught. But I didn't believe that there could be a person in this school who could defeat them. Even if they were caught, they had to crack the poison capsule. But no one figured it out, so I decided not to worry about it. Suddenly, there was a strong pressure. The killer was surprised. He finally realized that this is not an easy school. According to his calculations, this pressure came from the strongest person in this school. Therefore, I decided to destroy it first today. He jumped out of the hatch with a dagger on his hand and found himself in front of an unexpected person. The killer is just in shock. There is a green dog in front of a tree. He's doing his own thing. Both the killer and the dog look at each other in surprise. The killer thought that the recent pressure he felt was an illusion. Was it because he was nervous? The dog does not understand why the person is looking at her so intently. The guy decided to just scare her off and continue his mission. He released the power. A blue flame was coming from him. But the dog, instead of running away, accepted the challenge. She took it for a fight, and apparently she is interested in it. This angered the killer. After all, normal dogs don't do that. She stares at the guy and examines him. She doesn't like that a little slug like him dared to face off with her. The dog looks down at him. This is clearly visible from her grin. The guy understood her mockery, and that made him angry, too. After all, he's a shadow flow killer. And then a dog teases him. But if he gives her some spicy sticks, then she agrees to let the boy go. When the dog thought about it, his face looked stupid. The tongue came out of the mouth. The eyes sparkle. He licks his tongue with his paw. This view made the guy more and more angry, and he immediately threw a dagger at her to cut off her head. But the dog just dodged him. Angered even more, he threw a few more daggers. But this time the dog dodged all the daggers except one. It was flying straight at his head. Then she caught him in her mouth. That's what finally drove the guy out of himself. Up to this day in his life, he had killed so many people and had never lost. But today, he jumped down with two daggers in his hands. The dog also jumped down after him. They fought and no one gave in. The strongest opponent he has ever faced is a dog. In the end, the guy showed his trump card. He called King Liu in a loud voice. Then a huge sword came out of the teleportation circle. The killer, confident in himself, told the dog to be obedient and die. Or get down on your knees, worship and be his pet. The dog began to suck in air and then barked violently. Just one bark caused sword and assassin to lose their confidence. The sword aimed at her changed its direction. The killer got scared and instantly ordered him to quickly help him destroy the dog. But the sword said he was afraid of this dog. After saying goodbye, he went back into the teleporting circle. Now the killer was left alone and lost all hope. His tone suddenly changed. He already called the dog a hero. But you can't bribe a dog with this. She continued to scare him. Therefore, the guy desperately continued to beg for forgiveness. He asks to let go of such an insignificant person like himself. But the overwhelming pressure became even more frightening. Someone was shouting from afar. He came out among the bushes. Behind them lay the killer's body. A dog is sleeping peacefully not far from him. Some time later, Library, a member of the Shadow Stream dressed in a school uniform to pretend to be a student, in order to sneak up on the target and get rid of it. When he put the card in the entrance door, it suddenly beeped. The guard who was sitting here told him to swipe his card, but he said he had forgotten her. He held a knife in his right hand behind his back. If suddenly something goes wrong, the guy is ready to get rid of the guard. In this case, the guard advised to use the card he was holding. Then he threw it at the guy so hard that the guy flew off. The card hit him right in the chest. The killer crashed into the wall and the wall collapsed. He dropped the knife he was holding in his hand. The guard seems to have overdone it. But since no one noticed, he pretended that he didn't. He wasn't a student anyway. Having solved the situation, he fell asleep. Even say the killer too, because he lost consciousness. In the school cafeteria, murderers are people too. They need food too. Thinking about this, another member of the shadow stream came to the dining room. He thought he could handle this school in a couple of minutes. So I decided not to rush. A high school student standing behind the killer shouted at him to get in line. But naturally, the killer didn't listen to him. He even called him names, telling him to get lost. Then the ladle flew to his head. The blow was so strong that the guy flew off like an acrobat. In the end, he crashed into the wall. He also lost consciousness. And the cook, like the guard, overdid the force of the blow. But that's what they deserve. The cook smiled gently and told the students that they had not seen anything. Otherwise, his hand will accidentally twitch again. The guy standing in line didn't even want to eat. But he still asked for food in doubt. The teacher's room. Zhuo Yi reports on all the people of the shadow stream killed. Messages about the victim come one after another. In Zhuo Yi's hand was a list of people killed and captured by shadow stream. But he himself does not understand why he is here and why. Also, the man standing next to him continues to praise him for a job well done. This led Zhuo Yi astray. He is not aware of what happened at all. He had nothing to do with it. I really didn't do anything. The next day, the class of the Chosen Ones is as lively as ever. Another rumor has spread. The rumor is that the head of the guards, Old Lee, was the captain of the Special Forces of the Seven Stars Special Forces. One of the students dreamed about it. He thought that Wang Lin was too, and when he turned to his seat, he was not there. At this time, Wang Lin was with the head of the guards. Old Lee was sitting on his knees, begging him for something. Even aimed at the guy's leg, Wang Lin doesn't know what to do with it. 
The head of the guard still doesn't want to let the guy go, even though Wang Lin asks him to let him go. But Old Lee is afraid that if he lets him go, he will disappear. This makes Wang Lin uncomfortable. Now Old Lee seems to him like an 18-year-old girl in love. Old Lee asked the guy why he was here at school. He replied that it was a mission to protect his peaceful and peaceful life. The head of the guards, Old Lai, asked him that he wanted to avoid those assassins. But he believes that no one will dare to attack Consultant Wang. Wang Lin denied his assumption. He just wants to live a normal life. Therefore, he reluctantly replied to Old Lee. After his answer, Old Lai abruptly stood up from his seat. He thinks Councilman Wang doesn't want to drag him into this. Therefore, he said that he would do anything for Counselor Wang. Suddenly, one black figure jumped out from the corner with the words prepare for death. The red eyes were closing in on them. He attacked them, but Old Lee was able to stop his blow and repel it. The suspiciously black person did not fall, although he flew away. Who was he that dared to attack Consultant Wang? The suspicious guy in black realized that the body of the head of the guards had recovered. He seems happy about it. He didn't waste his time this time. Old Lee understood who he was from his words. But when he was going to call his name, the guy again attacked him with his fist, saying that he had no right to call his name. This time the blow was strong. Old Lee was defending himself, so he didn't knock. But he flew several meters away and crashed into the wall. At this time, Wang Lin calmly eats his crispy noodles, enjoying his taste. The guy who attacked the head of the guards told him that to die after a full recovery, such a cruel end is just coming to him. When he was about to attack it again to finally destroy it, a protective barrier appeared in front of him. None of them understood where he came from. After a few seconds of thought, both turned to Wang Ling. Then the guy standing quietly sighed heavily. He says that living a normal life is so hard. Someone always wants to bother him. Together with his words, the atmosphere became terribly frightening. It was as if a skeleton with a scythe appeared in the air. This feeling will make you shiver. From this, the suspicious type recognized Consultant Wang. He realized that the legendary consultant of the special squad was standing in front of him. Then Old Lee shouted loudly, asking to stop. He's asking for that guy's life. He stopped, but didn't want to forgive the guy. After all, he wanted to kill Old Lee. But just for this reason, Old Lai asked Wang Lin to forgive the suspicious guy, asked to spare his life. He explained this to Wang Lin with a slight smile on his face. Wang Lai agreed and went to his class. The homeroom teacher has two pieces of news for them. The first is that the assassins from the Shadow Stream have been destroyed. The second news about the school. Their school has received investments from the Waterfall Company, so this year's school no. 60 will be improved in accordance with the basic standards of the main high schools. Therefore, I asked the students to give applause to the student Sun Rong. But she wasn't particularly happy about the applause. Sun Rong got up from her seat and bent down. She apologizes for causing them trouble. She also said that she hopes for friendly relations, as before. The teacher waves her hand as if telling her to sit back down. Then she changed the subject to another one. When they talk about the past, they should also talk about what will happen in the future. She announced the exchange of students among the candidates for the main high schools of the city. This time, the best students of the chosen class will be sent there. All the students were excited at the same time and inspired. It's like they've been waiting for this all their lives. They are determined to win. The students were fired up after the teacher's news. Everyone is happy that their school was chosen. But the teacher clapped and calmed them down. They should not be too happy, because the number of allocated seats is only five. The next students whose names she names will receive a message. They will have to prepare all the things listed in the message. Everyone will gather at the school gates tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. The first is Sun Rong. She was chosen as expected, and the rest began to praise the goddess. The second is Chen Kao. The guy is burning with passion. He also felt that he would be chosen. The third is Guo Hao. He often stands out. The same student who loves history lessons. The fourth is Lin Zai Oyu, a pink-haired girl with glasses. Unlike the others, she was confused. She will try to do everything in her power. Last, when the teacher was about to say his name, Sun Rong giggled softly, remembering something. Recently she was in the director's office. The director of the school expressed his gratitude, shaking her hand, for the fact that the waterfall company financially supported them. He also apologized for the trouble caused. She's the face of the school now. So if she needs anything, he just said to ask about it. Sun Rong said that this is what every student should do for school. Moreover, the school protects her well, so it makes no sense for her to complain. She doesn't need anything herself. But she wants to ask for one small favor. Wang Lin. The last student was Wang Lin. He was petrified when he heard his name. The pen in his hand dropped. Not only Wang Lin, but all the students were shocked. After all, Wang Lin did not stand out in any way. His grades are average. There are no special skills. This is an event to represent your school. They can't send just anyone there. Therefore, no one understood why he was chosen. Some others envied him. And Sun Rong and the teacher were pleased with this. The teacher winked at the girl, scratching her thumb. Sun Rong responded in kind. The teacher understood the discontent of the students. Therefore, I reminded them about the entrance exam. At least Wang Lin had never received a high grade in the performance exam. Although he was lucky, but luck is also part of the power. Therefore, she decided to take Wang Ling as the mascot of their No. 60 High School. She said it so joyfully, but Wang Ling was definitely not happy about it. 
but the rest of the students were satisfied with this answer. They finally calmed down and started laughing. Then a piece of paper suddenly flew in. She was surprised, and when she turned back, she realized that it was a note from Wang Lin. He was pointing to this note. The girl blushed as if she had been doused with paint. Before opening it, she looked around. The note said that Wang Lin would be waiting for her after school under a tree next to the sports field. He will wait until she arrives. The girl made a suggestion. The sun is already setting. Everyone says goodbye and returns home. Sun Rong goes to the specified place. She thinks that the guy is going to confess his feelings to her. In her opinion, he loves her. When she got close, she called out to Wang Ling. He turned his gaze to her. The guy was standing under a tree, leaning against it. He looks calm. Although Sun Rong also looked calm, her mind was in a mess. She doesn't know what he will say, whether he will make a direct offer. If so, what will answer her? These thoughts confused the girl. Standing on the other side of the tree, she asked the young man what he wanted to talk about, since he invited her here. Then Wang Lin slowly walked towards her. The petals of the tree fell just as slowly. The girl blushed again. She's not ready for that yet. Only one step separates them. It made her think of the kiss. She didn't expect Wang Ling to be so assertive. The young man looks at her so intently that she is confused. Is it really so easy for him to confess his love to her? What should she do? She can't think straight. Finally, the young man's mouth opened slightly. He called the girl's name. And she sighed and replied that she was not ready. Sun Rong was completely at a loss. It's not that she doesn't want it, but that. Wang Lin didn't let her finish her speech. He pinned her against a tree. And after looking a little, he approached even closer. The mouth opened a little. The girl is still red. This will be her first kiss. She also opened her mouth slightly, as if about to kiss. Then the young man spoke. He asked her to reverse her decision on his participation in the exchange of students. The girl was very surprised. She was screaming in her head. Sun Rong didn't understand what he meant. Wang Ling explained to her that he wanted to live a normal life, so she shouldn't drag him into such events. But she didn't understand and asked why he didn't want to participate. But Wang Ling replied that it didn't matter. He just doesn't want to be disturbed. The young man asked if the girl understood him. Then the atmosphere became frightening. There was a lot of pressure. The guy's appearance was quite frightening. His scarlet eyes inspired fear. Sun Rong was scared and didn't know what to say. Footsteps sounded nearby. Two people were approaching here. Wang Lin noticed them and grabbed the girl and lifted her up. Recently he was scaring her and now he's grabbed her. She doesn't understand his intention. Then they quickly jumped down and hid together in a tree. Right after that, those two arrived here. One girl was wearing glasses, the other guy was also wearing glasses. He asked if she had been noticed. She confidently said no. Also that they are twins with her, so no one will be able to find out. When Sun Rong wanted to say something, Wang Ling closed her mouth. So, they quietly began to watch these two from the tree. The guy asked the girl where the things he asked for. The girl said there was no need for such a rush. It's the first time she's done such a bad thing. Therefore, the guy must keep his promise. She handed him some papers. He quickly took them away, saying that he would keep his word. The girl didn't say anything, but she frowned. He called the name of the goddess of this school Sun Rong. According to him, this list is not much different from what he expected. But the name Wang Lin was not familiar to him. In addition, there was no information about him. The girl said that it was because he was too ordinary, except for a little luck, you could say that he was harmless. After these words, Sun Rong frowned. She also clenched her fist. She doesn't agree with the words of that girl at all. For her, Wang Lin is a handsome man. In addition, it can scare a person to goosebumps. The guy didn't understand why such a guy was sent to such an important event. According to the girl, he was just lucky they chose him as a mascot. But this answer did not suit the guy. He doubts it, so I asked her to check it out before I left. He's too careful, but he said he should be just like that. According to his calculations, this plan will not only destroy the reputation of high school no. 60 obtained due to the incident with the shadow stream, but will also cause Sun Rong to become disillusioned with school no. 60 and force him to transfer to their school no. 59. Their high school no. 59 and high school no. 60 are enemies. They think they should become the main high school, but this time, because of student Sun Rong, school no. 60 has a better chance, so they can't let them get away with it. He really believes that school no. 59 should become the main high school. Therefore, no matter what method he has to use, he wants to disgrace school no. 60. In his opinion, this school is not worthy of Sun Rong. Wang Ling thought hard and got angry, although it didn't look noticeable. But he began to squeeze Sun Rong's shoulder. It hurt her. She told him about it, and he apologized abruptly removed his hand. The guy said that he was going to destroy school no. 60. Slowly left. He called the girl so that they would not be noticed. After they left, Wang Ling came down from the tree with Sun Rong in his arms. He told her to forget the words he had said to her recently and also left. The girl thinks that he decided to join this event because he wants to protect her. Wang Ling threw some documents on the table in front of his father. He asked me to sign it. The father calmly drank water and stared at him. Wang Ling didn't give an either. It's like they're testing each other. The father thought about it and put a glass of water on the table. He quickly picked up a pen with ink and signed without hesitation. 
he didn't even read it. When the young man asked if he was going to read it, he said that this was an extracurricular event and could not limit him in this. Then he picked up the newspaper and began to read. It was about a shadow stream killer who attacked a high school security guard. For the sake of the student's safety, the guard damaged the assassin's meridian channels, after which he died. The father asked his son if it was his doing. And why did he hit so hard, damaging all his meridian channels? The young man said that he was the first to attack, and he even fought back. It's really not good. The father said that this caused a lot of problems for the criminologists in their investigation. Wang Ling asked with a displeased face if he was worried about him or about others. The father warned his son to control himself. Then the mother came out of the kitchen and told her husband to calm down. Her son has already made all his efforts. If it wasn't for the talisman seal, then there probably wouldn't be a trace left of this guy. At her words, both frowned. Instead of chatting, she invited them to eat, putting hot fish on the table. Suddenly, Wang Lin's eye started twitching. He guessed what it might be from. It's because of the fish on the table. He asked why the fish, is it really some kind of holiday today? It turned out his brother Min had returned home, and he really likes fish. But he had to leave without eating, something urgent happened and he had to return to the academy. Hearing this, Wang Ling put his hands together, closed his eyes and thanked God that he had urgent business. Mother didn't understand why he was sitting like that. Then I asked why he came here. According to the mother, it's about the seal talisman. She asked him how many more days the talisman would last. Wang Lin reckons about three days. He turned his gaze to his father and asked about the new talisman. His father relayed Min's words to him. He said that the improved talisman will be delivered within two days. So in the next two days he will need to be very careful and not let the city collapse again. Looking at him, the young man ate in silence. After dinner, he controlled his spiritual power in his room. It looks like this event will be difficult for him. He must take Jink with him, otherwise it would be very dangerous if he broke the seal and released his energy. When he was thinking about his future plans, a voice was heard. He asked me to take him with me. It seems that Wang Lin did not expect these words. He opened his eyes and looks at the wooden box. There was a lot of pressure coming from him. Watching, the young man smiled slightly. Apparently this pleased him. The next day, five students from the chosen class were standing in front of the school gates. Teacher Wang also came. He greeted them and asked about their spiritual swords, which they were supposed to bring. He asked me to demonstrate them in a cool way. The student Chen Kao was the first to show his sword. He pulled out a huge sword. His sword was named Lai Kao. This sword was given to him by his parents for his 10th birthday. He made a contract with the sword, and they adapted to each other for six years. Lai Kao is shining. There is quite a strong energy coming from him. The teacher carefully looked at this sword. He told the student that his sword really suited student Chen Kao. Judging by the sheen of the scabbard, it can be said that he is very conscientiously taking care of maintaining his sword. The guy was a little embarrassed and he felt somehow awkward. He told the teacher that he was flattering him. Unfortunately, his sword Lai Kao has not yet awakened the sword spirit. The second one demonstrated his sword with student Guo Hao. His father gave him a sword when he was eight years old. His sword was small and comfortable. They also signed a contract. He's been with him for eight years. The spirit of the sword has not yet awakened in him either. The girl sighed heavily when she heard that he was eight years old with his sword. The third was Lin Zai Oyu. She has double swords. She named them Wangmen and Wangji. Looks like they've been with her for nine years. And they still haven't awakened the sword spirit. Now it's Sun Rong's turn. Her sword is called the Mysterious Sea. Her sword resembles a blade. In the length fits this description, she signed a contract with him from the moment of her birth. So he's been with her for 16 years. The first three envied her. And then the teacher demonstrated his knowledge. Based on his words, the blue glow of the sword is the energy of the sword spirit. So it looks like student Sun Rong already has a sword spirit family background is one thing, but Sun Rong's sword spirit has a bright color, luster and distinctive quality. She must have put a lot of effort into developing a rapport with her spiritual sword. Student Sun Rong also told the teacher, bending slightly, that he was flattering her. Now that it was Wang Ling's turn, the teacher started asking about his sword. But he didn't want to show his sword. The teacher laughed a little and told him that in the end they represent the school, it's better to get to know each other better. After all, he needs to cooperate with classmates. Then Wang Lin asked if they really wanted to see him. I also warned them that it could look very threatening. Teacher Wang confidently said that he did not need to be bullied. He has been to many places in his life and has seen a lot of things. So he can't be scared by this sword. Then Wang Ling slowly pulled out his sword from the bag. In the beginning, everyone was surprised by the spark. But when they saw the wooden toy sword, everyone turned to stone. Teacher Wang didn't believe that the guy was serious right now. But he said it was. Everyone looks at him in silence. Student Chen Kao thought that Wang Ling had a hard life. He decided that it was difficult for him as a child and that's why he is so reserved and Sun Rong is so worried about him. After thinking about it, he considered himself an asshole for not paying enough attention to his friend. Now he wants to help in the future with his fighting spirit. He even started crying. He hugged Wang Ling tightly, trying to amuse him. All of them will support him from today. They misunderstood the guy. Even though he pushes Chen Kao away, he didn't let go. He thinks that under the cold and aloof appearance of Wang Lin's classmate, there was such a tenacious heart. 
In this case, the guy should take more care of him, that's why he clung to him so much. Yuo Hao's thoughts were also full of such a poor life. In his mind, Wang Ling was living a desperate life. He just like Chen Kao burst into tears. Wang Lin now seems like a real man to him. All this misunderstanding did not like Wang Lin at all. But he didn't explain all the real events. And Sun Rong to the same place. She tells him not to worry, too. There was money in her mind. That is, she wants to give him everything that was not enough before twice as much in the future. She imagined Wang Lin bathing in money in his arms. She is ready to become his queen. But the guy doesn't need any of this. He's not interested in all this. They have now surrounded Wang Ling. His friends are still crying, and he looks at them mournfully. At this moment, when Chen Kao was holding Wang Ling's shoulder, gazing at him intently and pityingly, student Lin Sai Hoyu picked up a notebook and a pen. She started drawing something in it. It turned out a stunning drawing where Chen Kao holds Wang Ling by the chin, and Wang Ling reluctantly looks away. Afterwards, she asked Chen Kao to be more active and Wang Lin to be more reluctant. They didn't understand her right away. But Guo Hao and Wang Lin understood everything. If the young man became even more gloomy, then Guo Hao laughed at this. Wang Lin doesn't even know what to say to them. He has no words, he just wants to be left alone. After this funny situation, they went out on the way on the school bus. Everyone is busy with their thoughts. Wang Lin is eating his favorite crispy noodles. Chen Kao, as promised, is trying to take care of him. And every time he does, Lin Zaiyuo starts drawing on his notebook. And Sun Rong is thinking about Wang Ling. Guo Hao is watching all this. Suddenly, Wang Lin felt something. Someone was watching them. He reported on the phone how many people were on the bus. He also reported about their gender and even about the parrot Guo Hao. When he was watching them, Wang Ling was also watching him in return. Everything was the same as in the information they had received earlier. The woman on the other side of the phone said to act according to plan. They have prepared a plan in advance and are acting on this plan. She called out to a guy named Zhao Tang who was standing in front of her. He also obtained information about the students of school No. 60. The woman told him that they were heading here and told him to treat them well, as planned. He said that the preparation was complete, she had nothing to worry about. They can only wait for the fish to get into the net. Wang Ling's seal is getting weaker and weaker. Maybe it's because his strength is growing. He hopes for the best. He hopes that there will be no problems. Finally, they arrived at school No. 59. Xiao Tang greeted them happily. He extended his hand to teacher Wang, greeting him. The guy apologized in advance for the fact that if their hospitality turns out to be unsatisfactory. Teacher Wang also extended his hand to him and told him that it was the first time they had met face to face. But even though they met for the first time, Xiao Tang knew everything about him. And not only about him. He was aware of his profession and the subject he teaches at school. He also knows a charming representative of political science, Guo Hao, Miss Sun Rong, a talented student Lin Zaiyuo. But he didn't know the fifth student. Therefore, I asked him directly. The guy asked who this handsome guy was. He had seen the list nine times, but knew nothing about it. No matter how much he wanted to, he couldn't remember anything about Wang Lin. They looked into each other's eyes in silence. At that moment, the guy felt a terrifying aura. It felt like Wang Ling was looking down on him. 